Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. The agreement that allows grain to be shipped from Ukraine through the Black Sea is set to expire this month, and both sides are already posturing ahead of deeper negotiations. Now, earlier this week, Russia said it won't agree to extend the Black Sea grain deal unless restrictions are lifted on its own ag sector. Leaders saying payments, logistics, and insurance remain barriers for its exports of grains and fertilizer. Now, the grain deal was originally signed to allow safe passage of Ukrainian ag products to export destinations around the world. Turkey and the UN helped to broker that original deal. Meanwhile, Ukraine is asking for additional ports beyond just Turkey be allowed to inspect shipments for weapons in order to increase the amount of product the country is able to move. The current deal expires on March 18th. Russia had plans record exports of wheat during the second half of the uh, the marketing year here. Uh, they have every incentive to talk up wheat prices. So I think this will go down to the 11th hour. You're going to hear a lot of tough talk coming out of Russia, uh, very similar to what we saw in November when uh, we were at the end of the initial uh, phase of the uh, grain export deal. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke briefly with his Russian counterpart this week at the G20 meeting in India for the first time since the war started.